My family's been coming here for about three years, and myself about a year now, and I was saved here at the church. My mother has invited me here and brought me closer to God and to this church, and I've always felt welcome when I've been to this church, and it helped me, God has helped me become a more generous person and a better father and husband. now. Uh, my daughter has been attending the Summit Kids for quite a while now, so I decided to come check it out for myself, and one of the first times I decided to raise my hand to uh, get, decide to take Jesus into my heart. I feel God's really helped me um, since attending. Um, realized a lot of things with my marriage. Um, over the past couple years, it hasn't been really good, but God has helped me see things differently and has helped me work through a lot of things. And um, we are now working to get through things. Um, and working to make things better. Um, God has also helped me with myself. Um, because I've had some dark spots in my life and um, he's helped me with those as well. So. And I'm looking forward to this baptism because of the new person that God has made me. Hi, I'm Aaliyah. I'm in sixth grade and I attend Summit Youth. About two years ago, I accepted Jesus into my life, and ever since then, God has brought my relationship closer with Him. I like the one night event at Summit Youth. During worship, I always feel God's presence, and I feel more confident with myself. I'm so thankful for salvation, and I'm thankful that God always forgives me for any bad things that I have done. I'm in fifth grade, and what I like about Summit Kids is that it's I can really understand what they say, and it's really active, and I just like how they break it down for you so that you can understand it. I'm glad that God gives me courage whenever I'm in school or whenever I'm in soccer or anything. I asked Jesus into my heart when I was six years old, and my relationship with him just bonded after that because he really helped me with a lot of things. But two things are my fears, because I used to be really afraid of the dark, but now I, I started praying, and it really helped me get over that fear. And when I was scared, I used to just go, my immediate thing was to go color or draw, but I started praying one night, and it just really helped me, so I'm not afraid anymore. I'm Kiara Webb and I'm in fifth grade. Um, when I was six years old, I asked um, God into my heart by never been baptized. The reason why I wanted to get baptized is so I wanted to show everybody um, that God cleaned me and me, let me start a new life. The reason why I like Summit Kids is because when we worshiped, it made me happy because I was singing to God. The other reason why is because when we did story time, I learned about what God did for people to help them, and I know He would do the same for me. I just wanted to thank God um, that He gave me the courage to be baptized and that He let me um, live for Him.
name is Amy, and my story is I've had a really hard life. I've pushed God away for so long because um, I have a lot of trauma. Um, I've dealt with a lot of sexual abuse, um, physical, mental, emotional abuse. I was always told that I was never worth anything, that nobody ever loved me, so I felt like God didn't either. So um, I just didn't want nothing to do with anybody. I pushed everything away, um, and I was alone for so long. And I met a really good friend. Her name is Davy. She comes to this church, and she got me back into church, told me how much God loved me, and coming here has been the most breathtaking enjoyment that I've ever had. And I am getting baptized this weekend because I want people to know how much I love our Lord, how much I worship Him, and I will to the day I die. My name is Ethan Gamble, and I'm in fifth grade. I ask God into my heart, and I feel like I have joy in my heart. I'm getting baptized because I'm getting clean in the inside, and I thank God for everything He has done for us. I think God is my best friend, and He loves me so much. When I was younger, I started going to church with my dad and learned about and had an idea about who God was. Then Pastor Mel started talking about what he did for us and who he was. Then I realized that he saved us and that he made us and that we wouldn't be here without him. And then, then I went in with Miss Christina and the kids and we started talking about bi Bible verses and what, I guess what God did to save us and what he did to help us. Then I asked God into my heart a couple weeks later, um, a couple weeks before we started doing Summer XP, I think. And then um, I just, I started believing in God and learning about who he was. One thing I know is that God is always with me wherever I go and that if I ever need him to just stop and just talk to him about what's going on and he'll help me. I just can't wait to get baptized and I'm just so ready. Uh, my name is Graham Smith. I have been in the church for pretty much my whole life. Um, and about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I got baptized at the summit with my wife. And uh, I kind of used it as a check in the box I have to get baptized. Uh, I don't want to go to hell, so I need to do this. Um, and I kind of had the wrong motives behind it. Um, I remember that weekend we were driving to visit my in-laws in Pittsburgh. And I remember there was this guy in front of us and he was texting while he was driving and on his phone and, and cut me off and no turn signal. And I remember um, I absolutely blew up. Um, you know, cussing this guy out, and I'm giving him the finger, and I'm like, I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to pull over and like just settle the situation. And I remember uh, my wife said to me, "That doesn't really look like something that somebody would do that just got baptized." And uh, uh, it was real uh, punch in the stomach for me because that's not something that a Christian would do or should do. And there were so many things um, that I just continued to do, uh, so much sin that um, I just continued to live in. And I would say probably in December or January time frame of 2018, um, the Holy Spirit came out of left field and convicted me. It was like, I'm a Christian, but um, you know, I cuss like a sailor, I'm a Christian, but, you know, I 
look at pornography. I'm a Christian, but uh, I'll curse at somebody or I'll hate on somebody or all these things. I'm a Christian, but I'm a Christian, but I'm a Christian, but but what? You, you can't be one or the other. You, either you're a Christian or you're of the world. And I was trying to split the line, and there is no line. And the more I read the Bible, the more the more the Spirit opened my eyes. And opened, it was like He took the blindfold that was off of my life, and uh, I just started to see incredible change. Uh, not anything that I had done. It, it was all God. Um, the only thing I ever did was just fall down on my face and cry out to God to save my soul. And uh, I started to see growth. And I, you know, I started to see a difference in the way that I that I talked. And it wasn't like I don't want to swear because I don't want somebody, somebody to think that I'm a bad person. I just started to look at all sin as I'm directly hurting God. You know, I mean, like Jesus came and died for my sin to wash me clean and I'm going to take that gift and I'm just going to continue to live in the sin that he died for. It's like I'm slapping him across the face with the way that I was living and now I've been saved by the Holy Spirit and I'm born again. I'm a new creation and I'm, I just want to share that publicly and I hope that you know my level of testimony can, can reach out to anybody else who's lukewarm like I was and truly born again and I just want to share that.